I saw the young madam to her chambers. She is utterly exhausted. What do you expect? As if being captured by goons and tossed into prison wasn't exhausting enough. She learned her brother died too. She apparently heard of Klein's fate when she was taken. She is surprisingly calm given the circumstances. Jude, how's Mila? She was fortunate to have someone with medical expertise nearby. And your healing arts were a real boon. They helped stop the hemorrhaging. She has lost a great deal of strength, however. These next few hours will be crucial. Please, get some rest, everyone. I'll take good care of her. Shouldn't you rest as well, Doctor? You've been using spirit arts all day. You must be exhausted. Now hold on a second. I can say the same of you. The young man can handle this. Please, Doctor, this way. Is everything going to be okay? Mila's gonna die? She'll pull through. I know she will. You all should get some rest, too. I want to help, too, if it's okay with you. Thank you. This isn't my specialty, so I'm gonna turn in. Okay. They're talking about. It would seem the worst is over. Yes, she's breathing normally again. I think she'll be okay. Now it's your turn to get some rest. Just as soon as I tell Elise and Alvin. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness. Now we can thank Mila for the jailbreak! Yes. Where's Alvin? I'm not really sure now that you mention it. I'll go find him. Alvin, good news! I know. She's out of the woods, right? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? It's written all over your face. Hey, have you ever heard what folks call this city? No, not really. The city of hails and farewells. It's a waypoint for travelers. They stock up on supplies here before heading out. And people returning from a journey unload their surplus goods here. I couldn't have picked a better place. What do you mean? 
That woman I was chatting with. She's my new employer. Huh? You're bailing on us? Why risk my life to accomplish someone else's suicide run? That's no way for a mercenary to make a living. Mila's just trying to complete her mission. What about my mission? Any idea what it might be? What? How should I know? I don't know either. Does anybody? How many people do you know have a mission in life? One they're willing to risk their lives for? <sighs> What's your mission, kid? I just want to help Mila. That's all. Fine. Nothing wrong with that. You could help her too. I'll swing by to say goodbye before you all leave. City of hails and farewells, huh? floor window is open. That means Mila's awake. Yeah. What's wrong? There's something I should tell you. It can't be. No tingling, no pain, no anything. <sighs> Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I have rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? That's all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. Good morning. 
Is something on your mind? It's just that... A long time ago, my father healed a patient who had lost the use of his legs. Really? Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown, La Ronde. What changed? You were so determined to hold me back yesterday. I was... I don't know why. I'm not sure what changed. Huh. If you say so. I just know there's nothing I can do to stop you. Even if you can't walk, you'll just crawl away and get into trouble. <laughs> you really are... A do-gooder? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm in your hands. Right. We can reach Laurent by boat, so let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven. Drissel, you have my gratitude. And you have my hopes for a full recovery. Please take the utmost caution on your journey. I'm truly sorry we cannot accompany you. No need to apologize. You have much to keep you occupied here. Drissel's life is about to get very busy. She'll need your guidance. Yes. You're really leaving? Yeah. Take care, okay? You don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. I know, but still... We should get moving. Everyone, you've been a great help. I'm in your debt. Time to hit the road. Thanks, all of you. Super pals, don't split up. We stay together forever. I hope we get to see them soon. So... They're really continuing on. <sighs> so be it. I'm eager to see what your hometown is like. It's just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mining colony, though. Since you're human, you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm. My parents tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Ah. So yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? Exactly what sort of books are you reading? about to pour down on us. Better call it a day. Good idea. How did you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's not true. Anybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. <laughs> so you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? Well, in my current state, I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. Don't... don't worry. 
I'll do that stuff for you from now on. <laughs> hey. Sit closer. I want to thank you. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Thanks. We should reach the Sea Haven sometime today. Glad to hear it. Okay? Sure, I'm fine. But now what? H hey! Hold tight. legs okay? If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. The battle was called the Priscilla Miracle, and it helped create the Roshigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man, but I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. And how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> How very odd. When you carry me on your back like this, I can't help but remember flying with Syl. Yeah, 
All right. <laughs> 